गुड इवनिंग दोस्तों आई एम बैक विथ टैलेंट हंट यस द टैलेंट हंट इज योर टैलेंट हंट वाई एम सेंग इट इज योर बिकॉज हे यू आर द मेन पर्सन इन दिस हु रियली सपोर्टेड दिस शो सो वेल फॉर ऑल दिस इयर्स एंड दैट इज वाई आई एम रियली एक्साइटेड टनाइट यू नो वाई बिकॉज टनाइट समन इज वेरी स्पेशल विथ आस हु ऑलरेडी केम इन आवर फर्स्ट season yes i know it's a long time back but now a lot of things has been changed for her as well and of course this is season 3 and i felt that why not talk about our old days how we met and mostly to have some fun you know because every time we are sitting in one place and is like okay what is your favorite song how you are doing it no 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 we just want to scatter that part and we just want to talk more about the friendship and the way we have bonded in that one night trust me in that one night so let's welcome ramya mishra jariwala and in our talent hunt and she's a superstar she's a rock star hey ramya how are you i'm good ragini how are you I am fantastic and by looking at you and the background that you are sitting in I am already feeling pumped up and energized already you know it's like exactly exactly so this is really amazing to see you after so many years and i do believe that you are doing well what is happening uh, in your place how you survive this uh, this this covid uh, scenario Oh yeah such a loaded question ragini <laughs> and it's not over yet right it's right. we're still still just co- coasting through um but yeah what a ride it's been so like you said um you know we met uh under very serendipitous circumstances you know over 2 years ago i think it was about 2 and a half years ago um while i was in new jersey for for um an event and uh i was just a, such a blessing that i got to meet you and um and be a part of the first season of talent hunt um two and a half years uh well so on on personal front and professional front you know things have have kind of moved um uh, alongside this pandemic uh so professionally um just to uh remind uh, our audience so i am a pediatrician and uh, i ha- i have been working um in a a primary care uh clinic um a small practice here in the portland metro area where i live in oregon um and uh you know we have we rode through um the onset of the pandemic uh it took it in stride um so a lot of changes happened with our practice as happened with you know all all medical practices across the country and across the world um so you know we've seen a lot of changes in how we do healthcare you know from just the fact of um with with this covid pandemic we've been seeing so much more of you know mental health concerns that have have come up um 
in the pediatric population, that's been a huge thing um, with kids, you know, staying home, having to do school from home, um, being isolated, being apart from their, their social um, circles. So that's changed the landscape of, of what we as primary care providers see a um, lot more mental health uh, issues. So sort of it's an, a twin demic, what we've been calling with um, a, a mental health epidemic on top of the COVID pandemic. Um, in addition, you know, just even the kinds of uh, visits we, we have had to see um, normally what we call the respiratory season, which is the, you know, the late fall into winter where, you know, kids naturally being in school environments and, and being out and about, they fall sick, lots of colds and flus. Well, last year, 2020 into 2021, nobody was getting sick. I saw zero influenza and uh, I know we weren't alone. It was a, a very strange season. And now with things opening back up this year in spring and summer, now we're seeing a lot of those winter respiratory bugs popping up um, in, in, a, in a very unusual fashion. So so it's been it's been crazy um, professionally. Um, we're doing we're doing what we can and and always hoping and praying that you know things things will turn around as as science has given us such wonderful things um, like the vaccine and um, you know we're making dramatic and and amazing advances in in science uh, at lightning speed I think you know which scares some and concerns some and you know there's that whole um, side to this this whole vaccine issue. I won't get into that. But um, yeah, you know, we're 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 just seeing a whole different landscape of medicine. Personally, uh, you know, I have been uh, using trying to use this downtime uh, with the pandemic to work on on myself, um, you know, both kind of from a spiritual standpoint, um, and uh, getting more into, you know, my, my own personal mental health and self care. Um, my husband and I, uh, we are now uh, going to be celebrating our eight years of marriage in a couple of months and 15 years of being together. Um, so yeah, we've, we've been doing great. Um, my husband's had the, the luxury and pleasure of being able to work from home um, due to the nature of his job since March of 2020. So we get to see a lot of each other, although it is, you know, a uh, um, I, I try not to disturb his his workspace, uh, which is, you know, our, mostly our kitchen and dining area <laughs> where he likes to work and take little snack breaks. So it's been fun to be in the same uh, space and, and, and have a little bit more, uh, you know, um, in-person interaction with him uh, during the days where, where I'm not working. Um, and then the, I guess the biggest thing, you know, that's my passion, uh, I've been working on music. So um, just, just uh, before the start of the pandemic, you know, in the last few months of 2019, um, I was collaborating with a, a friend who produced music and um, he and I, um, you know, spent a lot of time. It, it was, it was almost like a full-time gig where we worked together to bring life to a creative vision I had had for sometime to um, fuse my some of my personal favorite um, English and Hindi songs um, through my childhood years and and uh, uh, upbringing. So we, we created an album together called uh, Fusion. Uh, and uh, uh, I launched myself as a as an artist formally. So I am known um, in my artist uh, um, background as Raga Babe. That's R A A G A Babe, two words. And so um, as Raga Babe, I have been working to produce music and and just you know trying to um, to do fun things, um, unique things with, with fusing musical styles, musical genres, and, um, you know, doing a little bit of unplugged acoustic work, uh, at home, uh, for, for friends and family. 
oh my goodness that's really great i mean you know a lot of people among us who love music they really explore this time for themselves and this is really amazing because always we talk about that how much we have lost but how much we have gained that you really say it all because like this type of like the family time which we were missing right maybe the mom and dad they both work the kids are in school so no one sees each other but right now everybody is at home and in their ease and even though some schools are open some schools are not so kids are still there yeah. so the parents can enjoy their company i know that sometimes it's really crazy if they're working and some meetings is there so because i uh, like I have few friends who has kids and who are working as an um, ID specialist. So they do have major uh, meetings and all those things, but then the kids are also there. So sometimes it's hard, I, I can understand, but then it is the same way. They're having a fantastic time all together, like which they never actually thought of, or maybe they have lost it before because of the workload, pressure, stress, all these things going on. So now tell me, like, oh, fine. So, so the family life is great. Your music life is going fantastic. So what is this spiritual thing that you are trying right now? What What is happening there? Because <laughs> I believe that music and spiritualism, that really goes together. Sometimes maybe you cannot concentrate on your meditation but if you are singing maybe you are concentrating more that's what I feel yes. so what is your experience about that oh yeah so I have um you know I have kind of run the gamut as far as religion or spirituality goes you know I spent most of my um early life I'm, I know I'm young I'm still young but <laughs> You know, the, the first uh, couple decades of my life, let's say uh, that um, I, I was, you know, full, full blown atheist. And I do think it had a lot to do with um, the fact that, you know, I, um, I was born in India, but then um, moved to the United States when I was three and, you know, saw like, like a just explosion of, of culture and, um, and difference in cultures. And, you know, um, I guess in, in some ways I, I kind of fit that stereotype of, of the ABCD, the American born confused they see, even though I wasn't technically born in America, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So I, I, you know, really questioned the existence of, of a higher power and, and, you know, really a lot of, of things about organized religion, you know, really turned me off and, and made me feel um, not so positive about humanity. But um, I will say that, you know, once I met my, my life partner, so as of 15 years ago, I started sort of entering into, you know, new dimensions and, and wanted to explore a little bit more and not just close my mind off. Um, and he, he, he presented me with, with his own different background, which is he was born and raised in India. He was, he's a, a Mumbaiker, um, <laughs> Gujarati, but, but Mumbaiker and very proud of, of being a Bombay boy. So um, he, he has a really good um, perspective as far as his parents did a wonderful thing, um, which I really, I admire it. And I, I wish more, more people um, explored the way his parents did, which is to introduce him um, in, and not just, you know, like with, with random words here and there, but really give him a good solid introduction into um, all the different major world religions. So they, you know, his father encouraged him to learn as much as he could about not only Hinduism and Buddhism and Jainism and Sikhism, but um, Christianity, Islam. Um, he has attended mass, my husband. Um, he's, he's been to mosque and prayed in mosques. And um, of course, you know, uh, he's, he has a lot of family background and, and cultural background in Hinduism. Um, and even Baha'i, you know, so um, he's, he has uh, that perspective, which um, really made me start reconsidering some of those earlier notions I had about spirituality. And together, um, you know, I've, I'll say again, he, he started it, but um, he helped kind of introduce me into um, where, where we are right now, which is 
I think we follow a little bit more of towards Buddhist philosophies and we, we really, really um, admire and, uh, and like to follow the teachings and, um, and guidance of Sadhguru. So we, we both um, uh, have completed the inner engineering um, with Sadhguru. We were both initiated uh, earlier this year, um, virtually uh, by, grace of, <laughs> by grace of Sadhguru, he, he opened up the virtual um, inner engineering courses and completion because of the pandemic. So um, we, we've had the fortune of, of being able to, you know, live in this time, um, share this, this world with, with him, his presence and, um, and have, have learned, you know, I think a lot of, of, about spirituality and, um, and how it can transform us to lead better lives, not, not just, you know, kind of be missionaries and, and, you know, enforce our views upon others in a dominating way. It's more about self self work and continuing to experience the world that we live in, in the best way and most joyous way possible. Wow, that's a great vision. And I know that you love it. So hey, guys, this is talent. Hunt. Don't think that we're going out of top. <laughs> This, this is something that I felt to ask her. But yes, this is Talent Hunt. And that is uh, the reason that Ramia, please sing a couple of lines for my viewers, because they should know that whether how you feel, that matters the most, you know, how you feel, how you feel today, how you feel now, you how you feel now, that is the main thing of doing anything that you do. So please sing a couple of lines for my viewers. And I do believe that they will love it. Please do. Oh my gosh, Ragini, you, <laughs> you have the best knack of putting me on the spot this way. Okay, let me lubricate, lubricate the cords a little. <laughs> yes, please. All right, so I'm giving you um, a uh, Manna TV Talent Hunt exclusive here. This has not been published on any of my social media or my YouTube channels. Um, but uh, so this is this is a song that I wrote um, a little over a month ago um, for Bhavan, for my husband. Um, he He's my Leo baby. He celebrated his birthday on July 30th. So I wrote this um, in honor of him. Um, it's an original, a Raga Babe original. <clears throat> the love of my life, this song is for you. All the tears that I've cried are my love's drops of dew. You have shown me the heart. I've given you my heart and the blood in my veins breeds life into the rest. My baby, my dreams, this wish is for you. Nothing is as it seems, but my love remains true. I'd give you anything if to you it would bring peace and blessings divine in a bliss state of mind. The love of my life, this song is for you. All the tears that I've cried, all my love's drops of dew. All right, so Ramya to Raga Babe, how is the journey? <laughs> oh, I think that journey started, you know, with my first breath, probably. <laughs> I didn't even know it. But, um, you know, there's the little uh, inside joke in my family that I, I 
started to sing even before I learned to talk and I started to dance before I learned to walk. So yeah, music and dance have always been very intrinsically part of, of who I am as a person. Um, and I, you know, I trained in, um, in vocals, uh, both Hindustani. I learned Hindustani Shastriya Sangeet from my Guruji who still lives in um, Colorado, Joginder Singh Virdi. Uh, and I owe so much of uh, my now, unfortunately, out of touch, uh, <laughs> but but at one point, um, pretty strong foundation in um, in rag uh, and um, classical music to him. So uh, that that was my you know my early teen uh, years, and um, I, I trained with him for for a, a, almost a full decade. Um, and then I have a background in um, in English vocals as well. I was part of. Uh, many choirs and uh, acapella groups and um, jazz and, and pop um, groups uh, while, while growing up in my high school and college years. Um, so, so the training was there. Uh, uh, and, you know, when I, when I kind of got, got some time um, after my medical studies and um, becoming, becoming a pediatrician, and upon moving to the Portland area, um, I, I had the fortune and pleasure of uh, meeting a lot of other like-minded people who are very passionate about music. And um, I, I uh, ended up becoming very good friends and uh, a collaborator, collaborator with um, Elliot, uh, uh, AKA Jaira, AKA Mileli K. That's what our, our songs together, our monikers are Raga Babe and Mileli K. So he and I have worked um, since 2018 on, uh, on producing music together. And he, you know, he showed me a different genius about um, how to work with uh, digital audio workstations and, and uh, you know, the new, the new age of uh, electronic music and how to um, really uh, tap into that uh, uh, new, new and, and upcoming um, side of music. So, so yeah, I think that's where Raga Babe, the, the name was born was, uh, upon working with, uh, Elliot or, um, Malili Kay over the last, uh, last couple of years. And, um, uh, you know, I think the name says it all. So <laughs> yeah, I've got my, my background in, in those, those classical roots, the, the Hindustani Shastriya Sangeet. I love that name, but you know what, Ramya, since we have started talking, uh, did you see the watch yet? I mean, you know what? The time is running. It's really running. It's not running, it's flying, actually. So, yeah. um, but, you know, but these questions are so important, you know, because uh, the, um, the feeling you have when I met you for the first time also, I felt that, um, that humanity, you know, like that, fine sense of uh, a human being in you somehow you know I just felt that and it's really amazing and I love the way you carry both of the world together you know so it's like the western and the of course the culture and the uh, the enormous uh, background of being uh, from uh, Eastern side, you know. So I I love that part. I mean, the way uh, you mix and match it together. So before we go tonight, guys, I know, I know you want to talk to Rami more, but I want to sing. I want to not sing with her, but I want to ask her to sing again before we go away. But before we go away, I just want to ask her that only one thing that a lot of time if you say or tell someone that hey why don't you sing you have a great voice or maybe just like why don't you explore yourself or why don't you but a lot of time a lot of time we get that answer that oh no that's not for me or sometime we get it that oh no I'm too busy I don't have time so what do you think that should we give time to ourselves just to think about that what else we can do oh my gosh yes <laughs> i think that is what this life that we've been you know blessed with with 
having, that's what it's all about. We, we should always be trying to work on ourselves, whether we're five or 50 or 90, we, we should be, you know, just in pursuit of what can we do and uh, how can we explore ourselves and, and whatever we have um, to offer and, and nurture, you know, those things, nourish, nourish those qualities in ourselves. Um, I, I think, you know, everybody has, has some sort of musical artist within them. You know, the people, people say that, oh yeah, not everyone can become a singer. You have to have, you know, the raw talent, you have to have the voice and not everyone can dance. And, you know, you have to have that innate sense of rhythm and know, know how to work your body. But I mean, everybody has music in them. So I, I really do feel that if there is one universal language, it's music. And um, I, I do, I do feel that we should all be nurturing that, that, that world in us and that, um, that uh, language. And it could take many different forms, um, could be instrumental, could be vocal, it could be body, the, the music of our bodies, um, or, or something else. I mean, things, things keep uh, being discovered, too, you know, every, every decade, we have new styles, we have new, um, new things, uh, new trends, I should say, now in the world of TikTok and, and, uh, and such. But, um, uh, yeah, uh, what a, what a great question with, with such an easy answer, Agni. I think we should, we should always be working. Thank you so much, Ramia, for your time. And it is really a very special episode for me because it is not only we talk about only with the music, we talk about how spiritual person you are and how we can really mix and match the spiritualism and the music and the family and the work and the culture, everything together in it, you know? So that is the best fun and the best part of this episode tonight. And we really appreciate that uh, you are here. You came, you gave us your time. Thank you so much for that. So friends, if you want to join us, you just have to send me a 90 second video clip at R-A-A-G-I-N-I at M-A-N-A-T-V.net. That is Ragini at Manatv.net. Please do send us because we want to see that how much capable you are to shake the whole world because Yup TV is all over around the globe and we are actually flying with that. And if you want to catch us later on, yes, no worries. You can, of course, uh, you can log in to our Facebook page and also you can subscribe in Mana TV YouTube channel. Yes, we're always there. You can always see your best talented person. Go back to our channel. Love it, share it, and like it. Thank you so much. But before I go, I want to ask you one thing. Can you sing a Hindi song? Aw. <laughs> if you ask so sweetly, how can I turn that down? <laughs> well, um, let's see. Uh, well, so um, today being uh, uh, two very special days in, in our uh, part of the world, um, Ganesh Chaturthi and uh, Michami Dukadam. Um, happy uh, Ganesh Chaturthi to everybody and um, uh, to those who follow uh, Michami Dukadam. Um, Vakratunda Mahakaya Surya Koti Samaprabha Nirvignam Kurume Deva Sarvakar Yeshu Sarvada. And then for, for, um, my Buddhist friends out there, and Hindu, and everybody. Asatoma sadgamaya Tamasoma jyotirgamaya Mrityorma amritam gamaya Mrityorma Amritam Gamaya. With this beautiful note, we want to say that we want this whole art to be alive again. We want everybody to stay happy, healthy in their mind and body and soul. Thank you so much for joining us in tonight's talent hunt. Happy Ganesh Chaturthi to everybody. Namaste. Namaste.